Another exciting day of quarterfinal action in Brazil in the first match of the day. Argentina squared off against Belgium. Argentina got off to a fast start as Gonzalo Higuain scored just eight minutes into that match. And that's all they needed as they held off Belgium to win 1-0. They'll play the winner of Costa Rica and the Netherlands, who just got underway. For more on the World Cup coverage, CCTV's Wang Dong joins us live from Sao Paulo. And Wang, the match between the Netherlands and Costa Rica has begun. The Netherlands is a World Cup powerhouse. Costa Rica, a little bit of an underdog there. How are the fans reacting to all this? Absolutely wonderful. Remember, this is actually the last game being held in Salvador. And afterwards, other games will move on to some other cities, including Sao Paulo here. The last one will be held in Rio, of course. And the uh, ambience there is fantastic. And uh, for Costa Rica, even though they might be viewed as an underdog, this is sort of like the half court, home court, uh, given the geographical reason. A lot of fans are there in that city. The number of Latino fans are totally uh, have totally outnumbered the uh, Dutch supporters and fans, if you will. This is absolutely fabulous for the football situation in Salvador. Of course, Costa Rica mentioned that already, that they are not here just to be an onlooker. They certainly would like to continue their Cinderella story or run there to actually create some big upset to uh, topple uh, the Netherlands. So uh, let's just see how this game unfolds itself, Susan. All right, well, Wang, uh, Brazil's star forward, as you know, Neymar is seriously injured with a fracture to his vertebrae. Those pictures uh, of when it happened were just heartbreaking. What is this spell for the match against Germany? How will they fare without him? Well, that's tremendous, really. Uh, negative impact right there. Remember, uh, Neymar is just as important to uh, uh, Brazil as uh, Messi, Lionel Messi, to Argentina. The man is the top scorer of the team. He already scored four goals, not only as a spiritual leader, but also the backbone as a spear, uh, spearhead, really, for the team. Now, without him, and also in the next or the upcoming semifinal up against Powerhouse Germany, the team is also going to miss their captain, uh, Thiago Silva, who, also, who got two uh, accumulated yellow cars, and the, as such, he's going to be suspended. So one in front, one in back, this kind of negative impact will be there. Both teammates or both team players rather will be badly missed by Brazil but on the other hand the Brazilian teammates already mentioned that they will translate this kind of pressure under motivation even though they are under tremendous pressure to win the trophy here in their so home soil and also they also gonna face Germany right there they want to make it happen they want to go to all the way to the final to lift the trophy and they vow that they will actually keep the trophy in this country for Neymar and for Brazil Susan alrighty Wang Dong reporting live from Sao Paulo. Thank you so much for all of that.